Yes, in saints, and our topic for tonight is God made creation in seven days. Hallelujah. And we found this in Genesis 1, verse 1 and 2. And down and down. Read on your own time, know God for yourself. Before creation, in the beginning, God created the heavens and he created the earth. Hallelujah. The earth was without form and void, and darkness was on the face of the depth or the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. Hallelujah. Day one. God created the light. Which light seems? There are many lights. But in the first day, God created the light. And that is the greater light. And the greater light is, is Jesus himself, the Son of God, the Son of Man. That's the greater light, the first day. Glory be to God. Then God said, let there be light, and there was light. And God saw the light, that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. God called the light day and the darkness night. He called the night. So the evening and the morning were the first day. Genesis 1, 3 to 5 says, Adam and Eve were created. Adam had his first wife. She was disobedient. She didn't want to listen to Adam. She didn't want to listen to God Almighty. She ran off. And she found Lucifer. They slept together. God cast them out. Lilith. God cast them out of heaven. And so God created Eve, put Adam in a deep sleep, and took a rib from Eve. And, and took a rib from Adam and created Eve. So Eve came from within Adam. Hallelujah. However, Eve failed him as well when she caused him to sin by disobeying God, eating the fruit. However, glory be to God. So now, saints, I want you to understand that Jesus is the second Adam. Jesus is the second Adam. But this time... God made him without with no sin and you cannot tempt him. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. You cannot tempt him. The day two. The formation. Day two. The formation. Then God said, let there be a formation. The let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters and let it divide the waters from the waters. Thus God made the firmament and divide the water which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament. So water was beneath and above and it was so and God called the firmament the heaven. So the evening and the morning were the second day. Genesis 1 verse 6 to 8. Glory be to God. And the third day. God created the earth, the sea, and the vegetation. Hallelujah. Then God said, let the water under the heavens be 
gather it together into one place and let the dry land appear. It was so, and God called the dry land earth, and the gathering together of the water, he called it the sea. And I saw that it was good. I, God, saw that it was good. Genesis 1 verse 9. And I call the sea, God fish tank to see the beauty of his creation. Hallelujah. Then God said, let the hurt bring forth grass and herbs that yield the seeds and the fruit tree that yield the fruits according to its kind whose seed is it in itself and the water and the earth and it was so and the earth brought forth grass the herbs that yield sickness and it sees according to its kind and the tree that yield fruits whose seed is in it according to its kind and God saw that it was good. So the evening and the morning was the third day. Genesis 1 verse 11. And the fourth day, God created the sun, the moon, and the stars. Hallelujah. Then God said, let there be light in the firmament of the heaven. And David the day from the then divided from the day from the night, and let them be for a sign and a season and for the day and the years and the days and the years and let them be for the lights in the firmament of the heaven and give the light on the earth, and it was so. Then God made two great lights, the greater light that rules the day and the lesser light that rules the night. Hallelujah. He made the stars also. God set them in the firmament of the heaven to give light on the earth and to rule over the day and over the night and to divide the light from the, the, the darkness. And God so saw that it was so, and he saw that it was good. So the evening and the morning were the fourth day. Genesis 1 verse 14 to 19 and the fifth day God created the birds and the sea creature which is the fish the whales the mammals so on hallelujah glory be to God then God said, let the waters abound with an abundance of living creature. And let the bird fly above the earth across the face of the firmament of the heavens. So God created great God, so God created great sea creature. Like the mammals, the whales, the shark. The gray white shark. Hallelujah. And all those creatures and every living thing that move which with which the water abound according to their kind and every wrinkle. And every wrinkled bird according to it's kind and God saw that it was good and God blessed them say before the saying be fruitful and multiply and fill the waters in the sea and let the bird multiply on the earth so the evening and the morning were the fifth day Genesis 1 verse 20 to 23 <clears throat> And the sixth day, 
God created the land, the animal, and the human. Glory be to God. Then God said, Let the hurt bring forth the living creature according to its kind. Cattles and creeping things and beasts of the earth, each according to its kind, and it was so. And God made the beast of the earth according to its kind, cattle according to its kind, and everything that creeps on the earth according to its kind. And God saw that it was good. Then God says, Let us. He was talking to the angels, his angels, not the fallen one, but is a holy host. Like the seraphim, the, the cherubims, the ophanims, the thrones, the powers, the mites. So on. Glory be to God. Then God said to them, Let us make man in our image according to the likeness. Let them have dominion over the fishes of the sea, over the birds of the year, and over the cattle all over all the earth and over every creeping things that creeps on the earth so god created man in his own image in the image of god he created he male and fee male glory be to god he created them then god blessed them and god said to them be fruitful and multiply fill the earth and subdue it have dominion over the fishes of the sea hallelujah jesus over the birds of the year and over every living things that move on the face of the earth glory be to god and God said, See, I have given you every herb that yields for sickness seeds, that yields the seeds which is on the face of all the earth, and every tree whose fruit yields seeds. Hallelujah. To you it shall be for food. Also, to every beast of the earth, to every bird of the year, and to every, everything that creeps on the earth, in which there is life, I have given every green herbs for food, and it was so. Then God saw, saw everything that he had made, and indeed it was very good. So the evening and the morning were the sixth day. Genesis 24 verse 21. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Saints, God made everything perfect. God has made everything perfect. Glory be to God. He made the black. He made the white, the Caucasian. He made the Chinese, the Syrian, the Indian, the Puerto Rican. Hallelujah. He made other tongues, languages. If you're in a wheelchair, if you have no, if you didn't bond with any foot, it didn't bond with any hearing, any any sight. Hallelujah. If you even were born dumb, God create us perfect. For his glory. Hallelujah. And God created black people that all other nations shall be birthed from that. Hallelujah. 
Glory be to God. And the seventh day, which is the Sabbath. Hallelujah. Though thus the heaven and the earth and all the hosts of them were finished. And on the seventh day, God ended his work, which he had done. And he, and he rested on the Sabbath day from all his work, which he had done. Then God blessed the seventh day and sanctify it because it in it he rested from all his work which god had created and made genesis 2 verse 1 to 3. hallelujah reverence my sanctuary and saints happy sabbath to you happy sabbath hallelujah Happy Sabbath. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Doesn't mean you see your sister or your brother or your cattle or soul need assistant on the Sabbath day. You should help. God will not chastise you for that. That's not a presumptuous sin. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So the seventh day, so the seventh day and the tenth commandment, it is interesting to note that the seventh day of creation referred to the same day found in the fourth commandment, Exodus 20, verse 8, 11. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it. What, saints? Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. The sixth day you shall labor and do all your works. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord your God. In it you shall do no work. You nor your son, nor your daughter, nor your male servants, nor your female servants, nor your cattle, nor your strangers who is within your gates. For in the sixth day, the Lord made the heaven and the earth, the sea and all that is in them and rested on the seventh day therefore the lord blessed the sabbath and allowed it glory be to god hallelujah jesus saints i will not say that saturday is the sabbath day I will not say that Sunday is the Sabbath day. Hallelujah. I will not say. Glory be to God. Because we don't know which day is the, the, the Sabbath day. Or the, the Sunday day. We are not supposed to be a religious Christian no who only worship on a Sabbath or who only worship on Sundays we must we are supposed to be a everyday Christian who worships every day and a person who worship every day the devil and his agents fear those people a witchcraft worker fear a person who works worship every day hallelujah you start to worship and the people them get mad them start cuss they started to cuss curse because your worship you're mashing up their kingdoms you're mashing up the plan because you are a prayer you are ordained to pray you are God mode peace. You are a worshiper. The enemy fear a worshiper. You're not supposed to be only a Sunday Christian or only a Saturday Christian. 
be an everyday Christian. It should be, I can't bother. It's supposed to be a lifestyle. <clears throat> it's supposed to be a lifestyle, saints. To worship and adore God and have a reverence for his sanctuary daily. Every day. Every day. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. We should worship every day. I am not going to judge you because you worship on a Sunday. And you are not supposed to judge me because I am an Adventist. Because we all need to come together as one. God will not come unless we come together as one in one accord. I am sorry. I don't know where you study from. But and as and as long as we don't come in one accord, we God not coming here. God is not the author of confusion. God is not the author of confusion. Hallelujah. Since God is not the author of confusion. Hallelujah. We need to come together as one unity to feel Pentecost. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And I am closing saints. But I am closing with the Ten Commandments and saints. Many things have, have hidden been hidden this is why you can't only just read the bible you have to go deeper depth read other books because it's not only ten commandments it's not only ten commandments but those who take away the 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 the, the Amaric, the hebrew The Amoric, the Hebrew, the Greek, the Maccabee, those people who took away those the truth and rewrite, rewrote the Bible. You have so many different Bible saints. They rewrote the Bible. They hide these things. Glory be to God. So it's not only Ten Commandments, my dear, but I am closing with the Ten Commandments. The Ten Commandments were written by God upon two tablets. Or in those days, we would have said two stones. Hallelujah. Because in those days, there weren't no Bible really. There were scrolls. And also they carve information in stones. Glory be to God. So God upon two tablets of the stones. And then given it to Moses on Mount Sinai, the record of the Ten Commandments can be found in the Bible, both in Exodus 20, verse 2 to 17, and Deuteronomy 5, verse 6 to 21. Glory be to God. And number one. Is my favorite. You shall have no other God before me. God will not share his glory. And God will not share us. He just leave us to choose whether we want to stay in the light or walk in the darkness. God shall have no other God before me. Thou shall have no other God before God. He is the God of all gods. 
and the Lord of all lords. He is Lord God. They are lords, gods. You shall have no other God before me. And saints, if you worship this pen, you're worshiping an, another, another God. If you worship your wife, you're worshiping another God. If you're worshiping your car, you're worshiping another God. I was in the, the, the transport and the guy said to me, what if they step on your shoes? And I said, it's just a shoes. And he said, and I said, he said, I said, it's just a shoes. And he said, that's it? And I said, yes, it's just a shoes. I can't kill anyone for a shoes. You know, saints, because some people don't like when you step on their shoes. Messed up. But it's just a shoes to me. It will get weary and worn out and we have to throw it out. We have to replace it. So I cannot worship these things. These things are vanity. Oh, glory be to God. Those things are vanity. Hallelujah. And the second one, you shall make no idol. You shall make no idol saints. Hallelujah. For example, the Chinese, they worship Buddha symbols so your worship there they worship idols witchcraft workers and so on they worship idols hallelujah the third you shall not take the name of the lord your god in vain many people preach about god and they call Jesus name yes but they're using the Lord name in vain they are using the Lord name in vain glory be to God the fourth one keep the Sabbath day holy keep the Sabbath day holy reverence my sanctuary reverence to God every day saints and the fifth honor your father and your mother so your days may be longer and I've seen so many children are being disrespectful not knowing that they should honor their parents and not just your blood parents honor who are ahead who are hovering you, who are watching you, that your shepherd, honor, your pastors, your teacher, the old people, they have no respect for old people anymore. They're not getting, they're not even getting up, up out of the seat on the transport for the old people to sit anymore. They don't respect, they don't know honoring. Glory be to God. We should honor the elders so our days may be longer. It doesn't matter what your parents do to you or so. Honor them, respect them. I beg. The sixth is you shall not murder. You shall not murder. And many people are in secret order and they sacrifice the less the, the humble ones they sacrifice the humble and they sit and act as if they are innocent and they point finger on the innocent to hide their doings but they will will lead into their own ruins thou shall not murder and the seventh one you shall not commit adultery you 
shall not commit adultery. Since you are married, stay in your marriage. A married a marriage represents three people. God the head, the husband and his wife. Women should submit to their husband. Man should be dictators and women must act as though they are women and have respect for your husband. Let God be the head. Take care of your old soul before you go on to the church because the cleaning starts at your home. Stop committing adultery. You know you are married. Leave the sister let she find her husband. You know you are married. Leave the brother let he, let he find his wife. Hallelujah. Stop committing adultery. You shall not steal. So if you see a neighbor banana tree out there and it's filled with bananas. You don't go and steal the whole thing. Or even take one. Your neighbor will give you a few of the bananas. But you don't steal it. This is why many people lose their, their arms. Or lose something. Because of stealing. It is serious. Never steal other things. You shall not bear false witness against your neighbors. Because you and your neighbors do not talk, you're going to bear false witness against that person. Hallelujah. You don't do those things. You will cause one lives when you do that. And the tenth one, you shall not covet. You shall not covet. Never covet someone before their blessings. God give us gifts. Each and every one of us have a gift. Don't be covetous. For your, your neighbor's gifts. Your brothers and sisters. Your, your church family. Your friends. Your school. However. Don't be covetous. That can't get you in heaven. You have to be holy and humble. You have to be like a little child. Crying for their mama's breast. You have to be a little child. Hugging on their mama's feet. Hallelujah. Even a child shall lead them. No need to God. So I rested there with the Ten Commandments. No need to God. And I am closing, sir. I am closing right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Saints, I love you with the love of Christ. Pray for me while I pray for you. Hallelujah. And in all you do, saints, try not to sin. Females, try not to sin. Because sinning brings pain in women at those times of the month or in childbearing. Eve is the reason why female feels so many dreadful, uncomfortable pain in, in those times. Hallelujah. Love upon someone. Hope someone. Tell them that you love them. 
Don't be an hypocrite. Jesus always talk about those hypocrites. Don't be an hypocrite. Hallelujah. Never be an hypocrite, I beg. Okay. I love you, my people. God's chosen. God's people. You are still alive because God is not true with you yet. Hallelujah. Walk right and drive safe. And if you don't have anything good to say, say nothing at all. Have a child, help them with their homework, and you can bless someone. Even one person. When you do it for them, you do it for God. And be careful how you entertain strangers because you don't know you might entertain in an angel unaware. Hallelujah. Saints, stop judging wrongfully. Sometimes we judge and we judge wrongfully. Not because someone make a mistake, you are going to tear them down. No. Leave it to Almighty to be the judge. We all have to sit before his throne of grace one day. We all have to sit in the beam of judgment seat and answer to our report. And when God is ready, we can't say we can't go. Make it right, saints. Make it right. Make it in in the name of Jesus. And help your brothers and sisters to make it in. Stop tearing down each other. Stop tearing down each other. I love you. May the Lord bless and keep you and make his face to shine upon you. And be gracious unto you and lift up his countenance on you. And give you all his peace and all the desires of your hearts. I pray you find your husband. I pray you find your wife. I pray you find healing and strength. I pray you find peace. Hallelujah. I pray you find the joy of the Lord, which is your strength. I pray you can learn to love and have that agape love of Christ, to love others genuinely from the heart. I pray that you read God, the word of God, which is God, and study it and pierce it in your heart so it may not depart on that day. And I pray that you store it in your heart so when vile people or things, unseen things come upon you, you can say, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke. In the name of Jesus, God rebuke you. Hallelujah. And I pray that you store the words of God in your heart so God's word says, whatever we bind on heaven, he bound it in and ever whatever we lose, he lose. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Give me you. Everything else can wait. Give me you. I hope I'm not too late. Lord, give me you. Lord, give me you. Lord, give me you. Lord, give me you. Give me you.
Jesus Christ, over us, Lord, sit on us, our Father. Glory be to God if we tend to go astray, sit on us, our Father. Hallelujah. If we are about to judge someone wrongfully, sit on us, our Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, I assassinate everything that is not of God. I assassinate everything that is buried beneath in the name of Jesus. I broke the shackles and the change from off of your people, our Father. I set the captives free in the mighty name of Jesus. I cover your people's minds and hearts in the name of Jesus. I pray that they may ask for repentance and have faith in you, our Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, uh, cover every community, every little children, every parents, every church members, every leaders, every pastors. Glory be to God. Cover my whole soul, my family, my friends and my neighbors and their children and their children, children. In the name of Jesus, cover us from the wiles of the wicked. Cover us from the unseen in the name of Jesus. I tear down everything in the high places, in the low places, and everything that creep in the noon days in the name of Jesus. I crush the head of the serpents in the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. In the mighty name of Jesus, I call you forth, Lord, because there is no other name but you. Than Jesus, uh, that's where every knee shall bow and every tongue must confess uh, that every demon must tremble uh, in the name of Jesus. Um, cover us, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Be with us, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Protect us, Lord. Provide for us. Heal us, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Jesus, we thank you, our Father, for we are still standing on your great honor, on your promises. We are still standing in on those graves. We are not in no grave cause. We thank you, Lord, for we are still standing on your promises. We thank you for your shielding. Hallelujah. We thank you for everything, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray for even our enemies. We scatter them in seven directions in confusion. In the name of Jesus, we pray that you may change them, Lord. In the name of Jesus, glory be to the Lamb of God. We bow before you, have a Father. Strengthen us, Lord. Renew your strength and your covenant and your love with us, our Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, I bow before you, Lord. I bow before you, Yeshua. I bow before you, Elohim. I bow before you, ancients of days. 
I bow before you, Almighty God. I bow before you, Holy Spirit. I be bow before the name which is above every other name. That is Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. So cover your people, Lord. Cover them in Jesus' name. Let your will be done in our life and on this earth. As it is in heaven, glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory, hallelujah. Glory, Jesus, I feel your presence near. I feel your loving arms wrapped around me. I feel your angel of hosts eyes watching, Lord. Hallelujah, protecting and fighting for us, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. Nothing but the blood. Hallelujah. Nothing but the blood. No other blood but Jesus. Nothing but the blood in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory be to God. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. My people, Jesus, love you. He loves you very much. When man do not love you, woman do not love you, they turn their backs. God is always on your side. And he's always waiting for you to come back. Glory be to God. He always waits on us. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. No other blood saints but Jesus. No other blood but the blood of the Lamb. Hallelujah. No other blood which is that wash and cleanse us and heal us and make us whole. Whole. No other blood. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Saints and I am closing here. So for many years, so many lives has been offered up. And though the blood that was bled could never see my bitter cup. But the spotless lamb in the farm of man gave his life on Calvary. Oh, but I'm so glad Jesus' precious blood still flows on Calvary. For his blood, it was not just blood of another spotless lamb. His blood, it was precious blood, though he washed the sins of man. For his blood, heal my body and set the captives free. So glad Jesus' precious blood still flow on Calvary. Hello, my people.